What's going on, smart people? I've been studying for the qualifying exam that's coming up in just a couple weeks, and I want a little bit of a break, so today I'm having a bit of a fun day and going over quantum field theory. I had a whole bunch of notes written up on paper for my last internship when I was going through the quarks and leptons book, and for the life of me, I have no idea where they are. It's really frustrating. So to make sure that that doesn't happen again, I'm kind of going back to the beginning and taking some quick notes, cataloging everything and throwing it into a LaTeX document. That way it's here to stay and I won't lose it. So the goal for today, I'd like to breeze through some of the very, very basic concepts in QFT, like second quantization, and actually just put in some stuff about uh, classical field theory and then perturbation theory. That way the next time I go into this, I can start getting into S matrices and basic QED and get back to where I left off. And I don't think that this is uh, counterproductive because I wasn't that far ahead to begin with. I was still in QED from just playing around with the Dirac equation to trying to wrap my head around path integrals and then also skipping ahead, to be honest, to try to see what was coming up in QCD because that's what my internship was about. So there's bound to be some gaps in my knowledge. So taking it back to the beginning, taking a nice comprehensive set of notes in LaTeX for me to always be able to reference, I think that that's gonna be pretty beneficial to me. The other reason that I'm going back to the beginning is one of my professors is teaching the second part of a course in quantum field theory this semester, and I'd like to sit in on it. So I'm making sure that I have a decent grasp of first semester material. That way I'm not completely lost when I sit in on the class. Now the professor who's going to be teaching quantum field theory, he was my math methods professor. I know that he does research in lattice QCD. And because of that, I have a suspicion that he's gonna take more of a path integral approach to quantum field theory as opposed to canonical quantization. The only thing with that is, at least for me, the path integral approach is much harder to wrap my head around. So I'm thinking I should just focus on quantum field theory, going through it through the canonical quantization approach and really getting a grasp on that and trying to tackle path integrals once I have someone to bounce my thoughts off of. I think for me, the canonical quantization just seems easier because it's more closely related, or at least seems more familiar to the quantum mechanics that we're taught. In regular quantum, your classical observables are replaced with quantum operators. And in canonical quantization, when you, when you quantize a classical field, then you have these fields that are in terms of these operators also, but they're creation annihilation operators, extremely analogous to the ones you learn about in the harmonic oscillator. But then you switch gears into the Feynman path integral and it's like, now there's no quantization and no more operators and everything's in terms of classical things somehow, like you sum over classical field configurations that are in terms of some phase that are given by a classical action and somehow all this comes together to give you a quantum amplitude. and. It, I don't know. But I finished typing up all of my basic notes, which got me thinking about what's to come, and that's why I started thinking about, oh man, I wonder which approach my professor is going to lean heavily towards, and it dawned on me that it will probably be the path integral approach, which got me freaking out just a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I think the path integral formalism is really cool and interesting. I would just be lying to you if I said that I understood it at this point, but let me know in the comments section, are you a path integral boy or grill, or are you more canonical? and I'll see you guys there.